This is Zendaya. She's the third of four foster kittens I'm giving baths to. First, I'm taking off her collar because that's also caked in food. The shelter we work with often marks kittens with different colored collars to help keep track of them. A lot of times at the shelter, they're taking care of hundreds of kittens. So each kitten's feeding chart will say their animal ID number, a description of the kitten, and the color of their collar. It's just one extra identifier that makes life so much easier. Zendaya is my only female foster kitten. She's also the best eater and the cleanest of all four kittens. Her brothers are very messy in comparison. In caring for foster kittens, there are a lot of different types of baths. There are kind of four main baths that I do as a foster home. This is just a regular bath. So I threw a little bit of Dawn dish soap in the bath water. I also put some soap directly on her so I can lather her up. The other type of bath I do is pretty common. It's called a flea bath. That's where I put a ring of Dawn dish soap around their neck. And with their head above water, I hold their bodies underneath the water so the fleas can drown. And then the other two baths I do are a little less common. My conazole baths and lime sulfur dips are used for kittens who have ringworm or suspected ringworm. So I'm just finishing up with Zendaya here. I'm thoroughly rinsing her off, making sure all that soap comes off. Her fur is on the shorter side, and again, she's pretty clean, so I don't have to clean any, like, poop clumps off her butt. It's always nice when you don't have to clean poop clumps. I know cleaning poop clumps is part of the job, and I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I appreciate Zendaya for being cleaner and not having poop clumps. We're just about done here. Just one more full rinse to make sure we got all that soap out. I grabbed a wipe so I can clean her face. During a bath, you can't really wash a kitten's face because you don't want water going into their nose and mouth or ears. Getting water in their ears can potentially cause an ear infection. Getting water in their nose or mouth can potentially mean they drown. So in order to avoid any potential complications, I go ahead and use a wet wipe. It's easy, it cleans their face well, and it gets the job done without any complications. With foster kittens, the potential for things to go wrong due to their age and where they come from is so high that you want to avoid any potential complications if you can. Now I'm finishing off the bath by towel drying her. Kittens this young have a harder time maintaining their body temperature, so I want to make sure to dry her as best as possible. When she's mostly dry, I'll put her in the bathtub with a heating pad and towel. She'll join her other two brothers while I start the next bath. Thanks for joining us!